let's say you would like to run the git commands from command line on Windows so um, let's just try it after you've done all the installation for Tortoise Gate and installing your key um, SSH key on uh, GitHub um, try and see if your command line actually works uh, the, the uh, cloning it works and it's, it's a recognized machine on github or not so what I'm gonna do uh, I'll go over here and uh, say for the notes of the subject I'm gonna copy the uh, repository and I'm gonna request it to be uh, the SSH uh, um, path for it so I'll copy that and I'll go back to the command prompt and in the directory of the command prompt I would say git clone so it essentially does what Tortoise Git does, and I clone the repository. And when you enter that, it says could not re get from remote repository. Make sure you have correct um, uh, access right and so on and so forth. So the key is not recognized. If such a thing happens, um, click on the Start menu and type Git and open up Git GUI. Then click on Help and click on so Show SSH Keys. If it doesn't show anything over here, it means you don't have a key. Just click on Generate Key. And when it's generated, again, if it's your machine, you don't need to enter any passphrase. Otherwise, enter a passphrase. So I'm going to click on OK. And OK again. And here's the public key that I have. So I do the exact same process that I did for uh, Tortoise Kit. I'll do it for here. So I'm going to copy this to Clipboard. So I click over here and it's copied to Clipboard. I go back to my uh, GitHub account and uh, I'll go to my settings exactly like last time. Click on SSH and GPG keys, new SSH key, and call it over here, say git bash key. Let's call it this one and paste it right over here. Then add SSH key. And there you go. Now that SSH key is added over here and it says never used. So now that we have this, we can come back over here and close this and quit this one. Going back into the uh, git over here and run the command one more time. And there you go. Now we have access and it's actually cloned. And as you see, it's right over here. So like this, you can add the SSH key for your git bash so you can actually uh, do all your uh, git commands from command line if you like to. Thank you very much. More to come.